What's up guys? So again, sorry about the lag. Um, so I wanted to share a dream I had. Uh, so here I go. So I was in a silver car in the highway and me and Kailana were in the back seat. We were talking about Incredibear, that is this bear. Hold on. This bear. Oh, hold on. And uh, we were talking about Incredibear, a doll I have, but I guess I gave Kailana my bear in the dream because she had a miniature one that was falling apart. My mom was driving, but at the part of, uh, but at that part of the dream, she had the bear that was falling apart. She said she would dump it, and I said I wanted it. Then my mom pulled uh, on some of the hair and said, it, it's falling apart. You really want this thing? I said, yes. And then my mom said, then you can, can have it. In one part of the dream, me and my sister Kailana switched places where we were sitting. And I had two necklaces. One was my gold necklace, which I'll go ahead and bring it out. Um, my gold necklace. Let me show you it. My gold necklace. The other, it, it's fake gold. The other was silver. It was bunched up in a ball like this, sitting between my lap. In fact, I didn't even notice this, but I just realized in my dream I was wearing this t-shirt. Huh. I wasn't even thinking about that. Um, that was not planned. Like, literally. I didn't even think about that. Anyways, um, yeah, and, uh, so I was, uh, da 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 And my... And the other was my X necklace. That's the one that has like an X on it, which is silver. Then back to where my mom was giving me that smaller bear and said, uh, and I said, who's driving the car? Mom, mom, the, she looked shocked and said, oh, like, but like not, oh, but like, like, Oh, like, uh, I don't know how to do my mom's, ah, it's just like, ah, like, oh no, and, um, then, then I noticed the car was driving itself, no one was driving, yet we stayed in the lane, so, anyways, I grabbed the wheel, then we started spinning out of control, and my mom was reaching and said, no, let, let, let me drive. And then I woke up. P.S. There was a dark room with a TV in it. I saw my brother David for a second. He gave me a blank stare, and there was a big flat screen TV in there, but it was off. Everything in that room was off. It was really only for a split second. And that was my dream I had. So this is what I've gathered. My guess is that um, the car driving by itself could indicate Jesus. Because you know how they say, let Jesus take the wheel. Um, me trying to drive, I don't know what that meant and it span out of control my guess was that could mean like I should let Jesus drive um you know uh, maybe it means for me to stay focused on God um but uh, pl please Mark Hardy or anybody uh, please give your opinions on this because I'm unsure um this is one of those times where I'm like I know certain parts of the dreams and their meaning, but then, like, in this one, I just only know a little bit. Well, 
I know that that part where the car was driving by itself was Jesus, you know, uh, that meant Jesus, um, taking the wheel, me grabbing the wheel and spinning out of control. I don't know what that means. Um, I know I should let Jesus drive. I know that. I'm, when it comes to God, God is my everything. Um, I remember, you know, I just remembered, I did tell him, uh, my boyfriend, Corey, about the dream, and I remember, I, I just remembered this, you know, I kind of forget things, um, I just remembered, uh, that God had told him, because he can hear God, uh, I can hear God too, and, um, God told him that, um, it meant that God was protecting me, um, I'm, I don't know what it's from, but God's protecting me, could just be just protecting me. I, I think God is so sweet. But, yeah, I don't know what the gold and silver represented. And I don't know why my mom... My mom and me never really had a relationship that was good. We never really seen eye to eye. My mom is a good mom. She just... We never seen eye to eye. So... It was interesting to see me and her have a normal conversation, you know, even if it was about a teddy bear and about a ripped up one that, to be honest, in real life, I would not want a miniature version of Incredibear about that big ripped up, but I'm sure there's a meaning there. I just don't know what it is. But that was my dream, and it was clear as day. It felt real, the spinning out of control. I was, oh, this is so scary, because, like, I mean, just think about it. You're in a car, and it spins out of control, and I can feel, I can taste, I can see, I can hear my dream so vividly, like you and me. So when I dream, it's very realistic. There are those rare times and I mean rare, where I have this fairy tale dream, or I have just this fantasy dream that's like, that would never happen. This was not one of those dreams. Like, that probably could actually happen. I mean, except for the whole car driving itself thing. Um, I mean, there are self-driving cars nowadays, but that, that part of the dream represented Jesus taking the wheel. Anyways, that's um, all I wanted to say. I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. What do you guys think of this dream? Um, Mark Hardy, what do you think of this dream? Um, because, you know, um, you get these very vivid dreams, too. And so uh, it's another reason why I like sharing so you guys can hear about the dreams. Um, I love you guys. Hope you have a great day, and amen.